The archaeological record tells us that alien beings have invaded planet Earth many, many times. All over the United States, ancient oral traditions of sky gods, or aliens, persist. At conferences organized by American shamans, legends of aliens who gave mankind knowledge of genetics are spoken about openly. Shaman elders speak of beings from the stars, called the Bakhti, who invaded planet Earth before even dinosaurs existed. Right at the point when planet Earth was just forming. The Hopi shaman elders make little dolls which represent spirits of their elders and spirits of the Earth. They also make dolls which represent the spirits of the star gods. These dolls are called Kachinas. According to shaman legends, the ancient Bakhti genetically manipulated animals and created mankind. The Bakhti aliens told early man that they were here to control the development of civilization and that there were many other aliens who wanted to invade planet Earth. shamans, the Bakhti aliens have been known both as gods and devils throughout the evolution of man. Shamans teach that the Bakhti are gods of the stars who have often destroyed evidence of man's real history in order to keep mankind ignorant and controllable. 
The oral traditions of the North American Indians teach us that the Bhakti star gods eventually lost control of planet Earth to another race of aliens, who were vicious reptiles with faces of dragons. The Temple of Hathor at Dendera in Egypt is dedicated to a deity who had dominion over our Milky Way galaxy. Scientists and astronomers now agree that there could be as many as 50,000 planets in our own Milky Way galaxy which can support intelligent life. On the ceiling of the temple, giant carvings depict star constellations and on the walls reptilian humanoid aliens are standing beside technological devices. Lizards can be clearly seen standing upright alongside the royal elite of ancient Egypt. Another common feature is the erectile serpent. This emblem is known as the Uranus. All the pharaohs wore cobra-shaped headdress featuring serpents and also vultures. All dinosaurs had reptilian genes. Contrary to what mainstream science teaches, all the dinosaurs did not die out in prehistoric times. They evolved into birds. Modern science has only just confirmed what the royal elite have known for thousands of years, that the reptilian genes of dinosaurs evolved into the various species of birds which we see to this day. Birds are actually avian reptiles, or feathered serpents. Birds share the same reptilian DNA as pterodactyls and biped raptor dinosaurs such as the Tyrannosaurus rex. Images of gods from the stars symbolized by feathered serpents can be found all over planet Earth. In ancient Mexico, there was a god king known as Quetzalcoatl. The word Quetzal means bird, and Coatl means serpent. He was the god from the stars who brought civilization and knowledge of the cosmos to the people of Central America. Ancient texts from Yucatan known as the Chilam Balam, tell us that the first inhabitants of the region were called the Chanas people, which means people of the serpent. They were ruled by a king called Idzamna. The word Idzam means lizard, and he is depicted as being half human and half serpent. Just like the reptilian figures seen on the walls, of the Temple of Hathor in Egypt. Five thousand years ago, the Olmecs of Central America carved statues of their god kings seated within the protective coils of giant serpents. In these carvings, we see gods holding small buckets, identical to the situlas of ancient Sumeria. These buckets contained the so-called water of life, the genetic material from which the reptilian overlords created modern man as a slave race to serve them.
In North America, at Sago Canyon in Utah, we again see erectile serpents flanking star beings. This is the exact same iconography as we find at the Temple of Hathor in Egypt. This suggests that knowledge of a race of reptilian aliens was accepted as fact in the distant past right across planet Earth. Perhaps the most ancient of all Chinese texts is the mysterious Yi King, which describes how humans were genetically modified by a goddess known as Nu Kua. She was a reptilian whose descendants became the emperors of China. Time and time again, we see rock carvings and ancient texts from all over planet Earth telling us that dragon-like reptilian humanoids invaded planet Earth and genetically created a race of hybrid alien human rulers. Many authors believe that the reptilian Anunnaki warriors of ancient Sumeria, who invaded the Caucasus Mountains, have secretly continued to control mankind via the worldwide network of secret societies, which are loosely described as the Illuminati. <laughs> 